Okay, this one's called the car wash, and it seems to really spread out at the start, but there's a couple of cheeky ways that we can make this a lot easier, and then the rest of it does come down to um, just essentially finding a way to, to get from A to B as quickly as possible. So the first thing you want to do is to get the, um, I don't know what it's going to call it, the one with the shovel on the front of it, bulldozer, and we're going to clear out the middle bit of this glass. Uh, you probably want to clear it out a little bit more on the left than what I'm doing, uh, instead of just going straight through the middle. Try not to hit the car here with a turning circle, um, that's me not really being used to driving these bulldozers. Uh, we're going to want to clear out, not essentially this wall, but we're going to want to clear out this wall with the door here so we can easily drive this car through a little bit later. Um, just make sure all the rubble and debris is out of the way, give yourself a bit of headroom and just check that the floor seems reasonably clear. Now this next bit's a little bit cheeky. Um, I'm not sure if this is the way they intended you to do it. It, it saves a lot of time. Um, it's definitely the easiest way that I could find of doing it instead of trying to tail or drag or whatever this car. So the actual chassis of the car is the only thing that counts as the vehicle it turns out. If you can scrape off the majority of the vehicle, you can then carry the um, actual like chassis itself and chuck it into the into the water. So that's what we're going to aim to do here with this. The best way I've found to do it is to get it underneath this bulldozer and pin it against the wall and just drive over. It saves you having to chip everything away. Um, all we want to do is get it down to um, down to a mass low enough that we can actually carry it. I'm just going to get a wheel off the back. There we go. I really should have got out and grabbed it then I think actually before going over it but all right so we'll get it unpinned from the vehicle so we can actually move it and then carry it just like a normal object now there's a pool of water on the right of the direction that I'm heading that you can chuck it in I couldn't make my mind up which one was quicker um, but actually you will want to go the longer way just because we want to get the vehicle that's down here so we want to go for that one this is the other pool of water just on the top left-ish of the screen um, that you could throw it in but we're still gonna have to come down here for a quick car anyway I'm not sure what this glitch is I think it kind of fools the game into thinking you're constantly walking upwards which is not one I've seen before so chuck that in the water and that counts as one of the vehicles. So that's our first one done. It's not a bad time to quick save um, before you get onto anything more difficult. And then we we'll want to try and keep this as intact as possible because this is a going to be kind of a little mini getaway vehicle towards the end. Now we're going to chuck the next one out this window. Um, and it's kind of again a little bit cheeky. I don't know if this is how you're supposed to do it. Um, it worked for me. As long as you keep the the actual tail bit of the bed all the way up um, and go straight off, the car can't escape, it can't tear the cable and it um, doesn't set the alarm off. Uh, you do want to jump out before it falls off, uh, it's not a big deal if you don't, I just didn't. So that one's submerged and it actually counts as you doing it without the alarm going off because I guess the parameters of the game make sense right now uh, this is the last section uh, we're going to take this vehicle up the uh, take the 4x4 up to the main house again um, and we're going to use this as part of this kind of weird not very optimized route that I took Um, not a bad place to quick save. I quick save it here because I immediately messed up with the um, um, with the truck because I ran the car over in here. But you're going to want to take the wall and the door down. You, you, you can't have the, the door functioning because when the alarm goes off it won't let the car come out. Try not to take the front of the vehicle off like I did but um, I seem to get away with it. That's another good reason for putting a quick save in. And we're just going to get rid of this now. I'm remembering that metal is the most annoying thing to have in the way. Let's get that gone. 
and that one's ready to go. We're going to want to take our getaway vehicle, and again, keeping it as intact as possible, and position it here because this is where we're going to be driving back. Um, I always seem to get it in this flower bed, it's not where you want to start it. And we're going to have to have a quick run all the way over here before on the way. Now this isn't really necessary, this was another way I was trying to get rid of this vehicle. I was going through the bushes with the vehicle into the closer bit of water directly behind me. So I was opening this up but I decided not to do it um, because it's a little bit more fiddly. But it's there as an option. Um, you can see the pool house, you can drop it straight into there. So this I didn't optimise very much and managed to get away with it quite easily. Um, first thing you want to do is to take this car and it's a straight drive. This is quite a slow car. You want to brake before you get in the water and just make sure that it lands in, otherwise you're going to waste too much time. Head back over to the other side of this pool. You can, again, if you want to optimise it, jump across as long as your jumping's good. And um, we're going to take this one next. This one's another straight line. We're going to watching out for the bushes and this ledge is on the left, this ramps on the left, we're going to jump straight out and get rid of that. We're going to do the same thing with this kind of X Lambo, whatever it's supposed to be. So straight off the side and again you can optimise the vehicle a little bit better there. This is why this one's so good though because it goes straight across the ground without too much trouble and making sure it's not in the way, probably could have got out a bit later. And we're going to take the car around here again. If we take that side off a little bit later, further over to the edge, it'll be a lot better. Drop that into the water and then nip into here. So two seconds left, a little bit close, but there's a lot of optimization you can do in that one. So it's another one that seems a little bit insurmountable at the start, but actually it's a, it's a nice challenge. I like that one.